Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Um, I wanted to show you the dried results of our Devil Dog Dare mini collab with Sarah Mack. This was the golf ball pour that I did <laughs> with the original idea, well not original, with the idea from B.R. Turner Art. With, he did with the marble and Lee and Jeremy did that and Sarah did one and Fiona did one. It was just awesome. So this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this a lot. Um, observations on this one, I think I had way too many petals <laughs> and um, I had my gold was too thin for sure because it spread so I'm really glad that we did the, the golf ball the second time through to break up some of that gold I think it worked really well um, I think after you've been tilting it for a while and it's thin on the edge then you shouldn't do the golf ball or the marble again because then it leaves like this kind of muddy line like in here so I think these lines are much prettier when there was more paint on there, so. But this turned out really awesome. And then the coolest thing, <laughs> well, other cool thing, was I love these little cells that popped up. Hey, Joey, can you get close up of these? And that one, and one there, and one there, and one up here. <laughs> it was just so cool. I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then also the other interesting thing, I don't know if you guys can see it, where the gold was very thin, it actually is leaving like this very sparkly, I was like, wait a minute, did I put glitter in this? No, I didn't, but <laughs> I do see the sparkle and the shimmer from the 24 karat gold, so that was pretty neat. So this was our Double Dog Dare mini collab with Sarah Mack with a golf ball doing B.R. Turner marbling technique. So, or as Lee calls it, the pinball technique, which I actually really love that because it is kind of like playing pinball with bouncing the ball off of different things, so. Okay, right, I'm gonna put this one back and we'll go ahead and get started for today. I just watched my good friend Fiona from Fiona Art do her most amazing flower dip and one of the colors that she used in there was alizarin crimson, which I had just recently purchased and I'm really, really excited and she just totally made me want to use it. So make sure you check out her flower dip if you haven't yet because it is just unbelievable. I will link it for you. So the colors we're going to use tonight, I will show you in one second. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have used some of my dioxazine purple to paint the edges and the sides. So that is ready to go. And my hope in doing that is that it dries. So far, everything I've done that has dried with a nice, beautiful, dark edge and it hasn't had that like whitish sort of thin paint feeling on it. So this is very cool. I'm very happy to do that. It's actually kind of fun too. So let me show you my colors. This first one is Decor de Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white and that is mixed with some Amsterdam Pearl Violet. And we also have here the Alizarin Crimson from Golden that I'm very excited about using. And that's just a, such a dreamy, beautiful, delicious color. Awesome, very excited. I have here, which one is this, Prussian Blue? Yeah, Prussian Blue from Golden. Beautiful, deep, rich color. And I also have Cerulean Blue from Golden. I'm not entirely sure if I want to use too much of this one, but I probably will. So, and then over here is our Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And last but not least is our Dioxazine Purple, also by Golden. Okay, so what we're going to do is a straight pour, similar to the last one that we did but I'm adding the, the alizarin crimson in there and I think I'm gonna use the purple as my flow extender, base coat. So we might put a little bit of purple in there but I wanna keep some for the edges. Okay, so we're gonna start with actually, hmm, do I wanna start with blue or do I wanna start with white? I think I'm gonna start with the white. So I'm gonna put a nice thick layer of white in there. And we're gonna do a dirty cup again from up high. So we're gonna start with some of our Prussian blue and I'm gonna pour it from up high into the cup. For that size canvas, which is a 20 by 20, we need about 16 ounces of paint, which is exactly what this cup holds. I'm gonna take some of my dioxazine purple and put it in there now. And we're gonna put some gold in. And put some of the alizarin crimson. Nice, healthy squirt. 
Mm, what do you think, cerulean or no cerulean blue? That one. A little bit. Little bit? Don't let it take over. It just have a little whiff. A whiff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A whiff. There you go. A cerulean in there. A little more white. I want to hit it with another shot of the alizarin and one more shot of the Prussian blue. Okay. That's on your chin, though. I don't even have paint on me yet. Okay, so there's our canvas. Our cup is ready. I'm going to pour a puddle of gold in the center. This is gonna be awesome. Look how pretty that cup is already got all the gold cells on there. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? You're right there. I don't like this one. Okay, here we go. This is a straight pour with a dirty cup. Ooh, that's pretty. Very cool. I'm actually going up higher. Let me catch the drink. Cool. That's actually pretty neat. All right, let's see. That looks very cool. Okay, I'm gonna go around this with the little bit of gold that I have. So I might thin this up just a smidge. Just a little bit. It'd be better if there was more of that, but that's okay. We don't need it. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Let's torch that real fast. Again. crazy about the center and the last couple of pours I've done I've actually done a little tiny ring pour in the middle and I really like the way that it's coming out so I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple to my cup here and a little bit of blue and a little bit more white and then just a tiny bit of gold if anyone want, any more wants to come out which it might take a second so there's literally like maybe half an ounce of paint there in the bottom of that. Okay. And I'm just gonna pour a ring pour right in the center. I'm actually gonna shove it back towards the middle first. And probably turn the end just this way. All right, we're gonna go right here. Are you ready? awesome. I like that. I like the ring pour in the center. I love these cloudy bits. I love these little cells that are popping up. This is awesome. Okay, now we're going to just roll it around over that gold to cover up that gold. 
because I want it to kind of roll over that. That way as the paint moves around, it has that gold underneath it. I remember we also poured into a puddle of gold too. So that's good. So it's just rolling over that edge of gold, which is perfect. Very cool. Alright, so we've also now stretched this out a little bit, which is good because we can sort of see all the different layers, which is awesome. So, I'm going to thin out the Daxazine Purple a little bit more, and we're going to use that as our flow extender, since that's what's on the corners and edges and sides. okay with it mixing with the gold that's okay with me I'll probably give us some cells doing that <laughs> tilt this baby. So, let's go that way first, I guess, since we're already facing that way. So we're just gonna walk this down. way and straighten out our ring. Compress it a little bit. And I'm going to go off this way.
You are getting some alizarin crimson cells. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's look at this for a second. I'm gonna wipe my hands off. Because they are very slippery. <laughs> in the center. I kind of like that it's not perfectly round. I like that it's got some idea of <laughs> some floral sort of opening kind of spiral going on in there. It's really pretty. Um, I like the purple and I like the white and I like all these cells in here. I kind of like this. I love that line right there where the alizarin crimson is with the gold. That's really pretty. And there's these beautiful cells popping up. We're getting gold cells popping up too. We need to torch it again. HOA, would you kill the lights? going on here. I love this very soft, dirty pour sort of, sort of layering. I love that, that it's really diffuse. I love those colors together. I like the alizarin crimson in there with all of that and I'm glad I used more white in this one because the last few I've done, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's a lot of dark purple <laughs> and a lot of dark blue, which I love that combination, but this is just, it's a lot lighter and happier and very cool. Very, very neat. I think I do want to kind of tilt it just a little bit more though, because I don't like exactly how it's sort of in the center. I think we're going to go down a little bit and just open that up a little bit up here on this side. Can you gently go back and forth when you get more cells later? Um, well, the cells that are there will grow if we go back and forth, so we will do that a little bit. not to take any off at this point, but just to, mm -hmm. to tilt it side to side in order to let things grow. But I don't want to change the shape of the center too much. I kind of like that. I think we might stop there. Because I like that shape and I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna stop right there. So that's pretty cool looking. We are getting more gold cells popping up. There's some down there at the edge. There's some coming up over here. And I'm pretty sure more are gonna come up too. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, I like this one, I like it a lot. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with it because I think things are gonna start to develop and pop up more. We've got these big boulder guys right there already. <laughs> But this is pretty, I love that, the satin enamel cloudy, sort of poofy, cotton candy, cotton ball effect in the center is really pretty. I like that it's not perfect, perfectly round. That's okay with me. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. I think it's gonna dry a little darker too. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but this is awesome. So I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Uh, I'm gonna touch up my corners and make sure everything is all completely covered while HOA kinda takes you for a spin. And uh, I will see you guys very soon.
Okay, so this is a few days later now. This one has some really, really cool parts. There's some amazing things about here. First of all, I love that this was another dirty cup with a straight pour. And I love all of these bands of color that are in there with the alizarin crimson and the doxazine purple and that little bit of cerulean blue with the Prussian blue. And I love all these little cells that are popping up and some of those bigger boulders. Just so pretty in here. And you can see that beautiful glossy this is just Liquitex gloss. There's no additional varnish on here yet. But we got some of our pretty gold cells around the perimeter from putting that ring around the pore. And some beautiful lines. And then of course where we poured the center again. That little trick. Get a little cloudy marshmallow poof. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Hello Zen. You come to say hi. How are you baby? So, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I like this. It's kind of like a floating planet or something. Actually, it kind of reminds me of a pavlova, the dessert with the meringues. <laughs> Maybe we'll call it pavlova. <laughs> what do you think, Zen? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so, this was pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you being here with us. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs>